fall. Charles Martin and Lily stir the hearts of all. When people long to go on pilgrimages to see new things in which their heart engages. And especially for the very shy end in England, there was a Canterbury they went. What happened in this season that yesterday in Brighton and in Kingston New Zealand? Ready to go on pilgrimage and start for Canterbury with its holy bar. <laughs> Some 120 to the company. Some people who happen now to fall in company, for we are students all. And to Canterbury, we bid you run to hear the tale of one Cedric Sly. It's 
Well, Kitty's right on. Now you've got your results, our son. Come and choose a prize. Got that surprise for you. Take me along, Andrew Williams. And for the audience at home only, the prizes on the conveyor belt are a doctor's stethoscope, a lawyer's wig, a crackerjack pen and pencil set, <laughs> a crackerjack pen and pencil set. Architect. Is this a slide rule I see before me now? The cursor towards my hand? Now, shall we go over here? Come over here. Well, you see, now, still, you can be prepared for 
welcome to the fifth year. <laughs> and right now, as this is the last project you will be doing at the college, you had better make it a good one, yeah? Yes, oh, yes sir. <laughs> Very well then. <coughs> Here is the twist. <laughs> but to the average intelligent and healthy and moneyless individual, best contributes it had to be towards bringing the earliest and happiest realization of advantage for society in general, protecting and maintaining the comprehensive and anticipated science initiative uh, in the face of a miserable uh, axiomatic and inertia uh, of academic uh, authority uh, as well uh, as uh, the formidable uh, economic uh, advantage uh, of corporations uh, and their governments uh, and mutually uh, 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 of sources uh, and capabilities uh, of self-exploitation. Right, I will have your answers in ten minutes. But he's got a temporary corner. I hope it's grounded. <laughs>
so be me. What? What? Over my dead body. <laughs> In my day, you'd have gone down the mine and done bugger all. <laughs> It's just not the same anymore, not like it was in the good old days. I got to live on the farm again like the people from the war. I got to do happy memories that we were on the floor. But I can't go back, those things have gone, I'm only running. Governor. Oh, 
It's an interview with Scrubbing Cromwell Rural District Council tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you.
of what for gap service station. Sorry, Anne's not here. Get off. <laughs> he tried on the old Anki, he came over his eyes and he fell off the stage in rehearsals. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so just a quick preview of what's coming up next. Not an Andre preview. <laughs> because he's at home. Get out of the way, I'll see you. Because he is at home. Practicing is green piano concerto. Hang on. Do you have Michael? Have you seen him? God. Oh, 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 the six and a half paper one. You always go same class, bubble. <laughs> <laughs> he's all right, little lad. Well, hope someone here, because he's going to have trouble explaining that otherwise. <laughs> yes, good old Unigate, don't you know? Yo! <laughs> you know Unigate, don't you? Yo, turn around, turn around, lads, and I will get you. Hey, one, two, three. Oh, what jump, what jump, what jump, what jump? There's a one free about. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. And now, a little recitation entitled. She was only Desert Runner's daughter, but she could sing as well as tell jokes. <laughs> now that wasn't a very good laugh. <laughs>